Hi guys, Adam from Midwest Panel Builders and we are uh, in North Carolina just outside of Asheville and uh, we are here with the first uh, sling high wing kit in uh, the United States. Uh, obviously not the first aircraft, there's already two flying here, but this is the first kit. This is a quick build kit and uh, we're going to be doing the avionics in this one obviously. Uh, however, we wanted to give you guys a quick look around uh, what a kit looks like and, and uh, let you see for yourselves, you know, especially those that have one on order, uh, what you can kind of expect when it delivers to you. Here we are in the interior. Uh, we, you know, again going over uh, any changes since when we did Linda's plane in uh, South Africa a little over a year ago. Um, not much really has uh, has changed uh, from the structure of things. One big difference, though, that was immediately obvious is the floor is now almost entirely carbon fiber. Linda's plane uh, was actually uh, fiberglass, so I'm assuming that's a weight reduction measure. Uh, it does appear to be a little bit thinner, but of course carbon fiber is pretty tough, so that's uh, not a bad thing. Coming up through the center section here, most everything looks the same. In the back area here, of course, anybody that knows our TSI systems, we do uh, the doubler with the shelf, and that's where all the avionics go. And in fact, Linda's uh, high wing was no different on our first design. And uh, fortunately, we're going to be able to keep that design. Not really been any major changes except for um, uh, the relocation of a fuel valve, which if you're not aware on the high wing, uh, the fuel valve is not up close. It's actually remotely mounted. And then your selector is um, actually a rod with a couple of U-joints that controls it. So they relocated that a little bit. Looks like um, looks like some minor changes to the fuel system, perhaps, but uh, nothing nothing groundbreaking here. So you know everything inside. Uh, you know all the videos that you've seen on on those original high wings. Uh, most of that should still apply. One thing I think quick build customers are going to be able to appreciate is the fact that the top box area, which is you know basically everything uh, above the uh, roof of the fuselage, um, is all pre wired. So what they did is they ran and they've got a couple of connectors up in this area here that you can't quite see and they've got a big bundle of wire that runs down the b pillar and goes forward on the pilot side and on the co-pilot side here we've got a bundle of coax that comes down the b pillar and then goes forward so all these wires are there for you um, now you do have to terminate a lot of these ends unfortunately this kind of looks daunting but it is all labeled and uh, what i think we're going to end up doing with our customers uh, for, for those that we provide harnesses for. We're going to have a pigtail connector that's going to mate up to our rack system and then you can use the pigtails uh, with you know matching labels and get everything kind of soldered on and do it that way or of course you know if you want to get the tools for it you do have the option to crimp um, pins on and use our connector system as well. Additionally everything's in its place which is nice so they have for example, heat wires up front where they belong. Uh, they've got coax located uh, where the antennas ought to go. They've got the roll servo done. They've got the wing uh, connectors done on this side. You still have to complete the wing side, however. But um, you know, I'd say probably 80% of the work up there is completed. One thing we're gonna have to determine on this one is the tail wiring, getting it up to the front. Uh, so the tail section is the same as the TSI with what goes back there. However, what is different is we don't have access to underneath this floor like we do on the TSI. There's a lot of structure here, a lot of bracing and, and um, supports. There's not a lot of inspection holes. Uh, what we did on Linda's plane in South Africa is uh, put a hole roughly in this area uh, with a grommet and then passed it underneath through some of the floor structure to the back uh, and that worked pretty well. So likely that's gonna be our solution on this one. I'm not really sure exactly what the factory plans to do or what their plans are for that this isn't called out just yet in the uh, in the manuals uh, so once we kind of figure out what their idea is um, we're going to make sure that our harnessing and our stuff you know matches that so that uh, the installation can go you know smoothly hope you enjoyed this quick uh, brief overview of the sling high wing kit 
we unfortunately don't have a ton of time to go into every nitty gritty detail of everything uh, that is included with the kit and what everything looks like. If you have questions, we'll do our best to answer them based on what we've seen here and what we've seen in the past. Um, and then of course, you know, we're looking forward obviously to seeing, you know, a lot more of these come into the U.S. and we expect that they should be soon. We'll be starting the uh, avionics build of this uh, aircraft a little bit later this year. We'll make sure to post a couple pictures of what that's going to be looking like on uh, Facebook and uh, possibly even do a quick video on it. This actual avionics layout I believe is going to be pretty similar in, um, in most ways to what we did for Linda's. So of course you can go back and check that out too if you're interested to see what that installation looked like. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more content from our channel, including upcoming videos that we're planning to have on using some of the G3X Touch equipment. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.